<laughs> if I was on Northern Iowa, I would have quit basketball. <laughs> March Madness has long given us the best of collegiate sports. Exciting games, incredible Cinderella stories, and thrilling comeback victories. We were treated to all of that in just a single game when Northern Iowa faced off against Texas A&M. But this 2016 matchup was also a painful reminder that the yin comes with the yang. To have light, there must be darkness. And to have an incredible comeback, you must also have epic failure. This is the worst March Madness collapse. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, March 20th, 2016. Three seed Texas A&M sinks a free throw with 12.6 seconds remaining in double overtime to go up by four over 11 seed Northern Iowa. The game is over and everyone tries to figure out what the hell they just witnessed. Three seeds are meant to beat 11 seeds, of course, but no one is supposed to climb out of a hole so deep that computers say there is just a one in 1,000 chance of getting out of. Texas A&M beating those odds was just one more sign that we shouldn't expect to understand why things happen. For instance, how the f did Damn Daniel take over the internet just a month before? Damn Daniel. Or how was it decided that viewers needed more OJ Simpson content, specifically that involving radio, Ross, and Caster Troy wearing Agent Archer's face but with just a splash of Botox? Or why did American Idol call their 15th season their last after crowning Trent Harmon the winner? You told me not to cry. Okay. That one makes sense. But while my boy Trent's future staying power was murky at best, the Cinderella potential for the University of Northern Iowa was legit. The Panthers took off down the stretch, going from a record of 10 and 11 at the end of January to 22 and 12 as they won the Missouri Valley Tournament and booked their ticket to the big dance. Led by senior Paul Jesperson, they shocked the Texas Longhorns with a buzzer beater three in the first round, showing the nation they were for real, or at least just didn't feel like going back to Iowa, the state that just handed a presidential caucus win to the Zodiac killer, I mean Ted Cruz, just yet. And the Panthers continue going strong against the Aggies, keeping the lead for almost the entire game. But whether it's a case of the yips, or the pressure of the big dance, or a lack of sleep after binge watching the newly released Fuller House on Netflix. How rude. With 44 seconds remaining and a 12 point lead, Northern Iowa begins the biggest collapse in the history of the tournament. Like, for real, that's not an exaggeration, it's the worst. Consider this a warning for the train wreck you're about to see. It starts with an offensive rebound by the Aggies to make it a 10-point game. All right, that's fine. Those things happen over the course of a game, and A&M still desperately needs a turnover, which they get immediately after a bad Northern Iowa inbound pass, cutting the lead to eight. By the way, bad inbound pass is an understatement. This is f***ing gross. Damn, Daniel. Okay, it's time for the Panthers to get their heads on straight and lock this up, but instead they botch yet another inbound. Guys, you are supposed to pass it to your own teammate, not just whoever. Damn. Daniel. Which results in a steal and a dunk by Jalen Jones, putting it at 69-63. It's a two possession game now and Panther fans are getting nervous. Maybe not as nervous as Jay-Z was when he found out Beyonce was doing an entire album based on his rumored infidelity, but nervous and never have nerves been as horrifically visible as when Panther guard Wyatt Lohow just kind of throws this away, leading to an Aggie three-point jumper seconds later, 69-66. Fucking great. The Panthers really, really need to get the ball across the court now, and they do, with a long Jesperson assist to Clint Carlson for a dunk with 17 seconds left. Maybe the Panthers can stem the bleeding here, or maybe not. The Aggies' Alex Caruso gets fouled as he drives to the basket to bring it back to a two-point game. After the free throw, Wes Washman gets the ball, but the Aggies trap him in the corner and have him looking honestly a little bit like Leo in The Revenant. <laughs> With the clock ticking, no timeouts, and no great options, he passes it to not his teammate, who takes it to the rim. And with that, Northern Iowa finishes the most disastrous 44 seconds in an NCAA Men's Division I tournament. A devastating collapse that is so cruel they're forced to play overtime. a and sends it to double overtime and does what Northern Iowa failed to do what feels like at this point so very long ago. They close out the game and advance to the Sweet 16.
with all of America watching, Northern Iowa lost a game they had a 99.99% likelihood of winning, and that's according to f***ing computers. Machines were made to be smart with numbers and shit. We made them so smart that that year the FBI couldn't even hack them, and Apple needed a congressional hearing on the matter to explain why people deserve privacy. It's dumb. Oh, and Prince died that year too, which I'm sorry to remind you about, but like, he's gone and life isn't fair. Just like March Madness, a good story like you and I doesn't always equal success, and success can't always last. Texas A&M would lose to Oklahoma in the next round, where the Sooners held a double-digit lead for the entire second half. Elsewhere in the tournament, Syracuse would make it to the Final Four as a 10 seed, but we all know they weren't really a 10 seed. Villanova would beat UNC in the final, and everyone would quickly forget about Northern Iowa's historic collapse. Well, except for you and me. March Madness will always be special because it'll never make sense. No lead is enough, no team is safe, and to quote that bear from The Revenant, nothing is certain except death, taxes, and the gripping claws of defeat. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to SB Nation, comment down below, and stick around for a blooper reel of some of our goofs and gaffes of the worst. Oh, I guess we don't really have those, do we? We don't film this. Well.